early in the springtime It's when I think about your springtime Late in the summer Is when my love starts to fall As we enter into the winter I know it's cold outside But see everything will be alright As we spring into new book you just did called Life of an Alpha Male. That's an interesting title. How did this idea come about? <laughs> All right. Life of an Alpha Male is just a theory of mine. And basically, in a nutshell, I came up with the title because in the dating scene, people experience different things depending on their walk of life. Like they've talked about um, the nerd before. They talk about the ugly duckling. They talk about how to be a player. They talk about it all, but nobody talks about alpha females, alpha females. Like, basically, the dating experience is different. And I just felt like it's time to enlighten on that topic. Women are frustrated. They're reading these Steve Harvey books and different books and doing whatever the tricks are that they list and see that their man has none of the characteristics or don't respond the way that they say they should respond. And that's because you might be dating an alpha male. You might be dating a different type of guy. So I created a character and came up with something interesting and deep. So. Yeah, I've read the book. It's definitely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you speak a lot about telling the truth. You speak the truth. Can you elaborate on that some for me? Yeah, like I said it. I have this saying where I say the truth lives in the dark. And my writing, I mean, I don't mean to get um, religious people tripping, but I always compare my writing, like I compare my first book, I was just made hurt, to the Bible. Not that it's going to save you or anything, but basically saying that, you know, I like truth in life. Life has to play out. Sometimes you find out later. That's how my book is. It's nothing but the truth. I don't cater it to sell in any kind of way. I really don't care. Well, I do care if it sells, but my main thing is to tell the truth and enlighten. And if I sell, that's my reward. That's what I say. So this book, Life of an Alpha Male, is the same way. It's raw. Um, his responses are not like your typical guy in the book because I wanted his responses to be like the guy's response in real life. And I wanted women to understand, but I, I wanted them to get into his psyche. And the only way we can understand anything is from truth, whether it hurts or not. But that's just, that's my take on it. So you compare your book to the Bible? Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, the Bible for women? Yeah, I mean, people have said that, though. Like, my first book, I swear, like, I've even had women frustrated or or. Like, this guy is is talking about men in a way like they should be, blah, blah, blah. Or because I didn't write men like the guy that they were picture or like a fairy tale guy were frustrated. But then they later came back to me and said, you know what? A situation from your book happened and it played out exactly like you said in my book. And he responded the same way. And then they start to see that I really did tell the truth. And I really did write it in a way where I wasn't trying to hurt feelings, but I wanted people to understand. Like, Jim Rohn has this quote that one of the guys I listen to. He says, you shouldn't like, you don't have to like how it is, but you should want to know how it is. That's why I say I compare it to the Bible, because I tell it like it is. The Bible was out, life of alpha male, all of that way before I came along. So I just wrote in a different way. And this story is a story like no other is. Okay, gotcha. So you talk a lot about this alpha male. Um, what, explain that to us. Like, what, what's an alpha male? Layman's terms, I would say the it factor. Like, men and women have it. Oh, like, I was about to say, because they yeah. just say the alpha female. <laughs> yeah, thing, yeah, right? men and women have it. But we need to tell the truth. Like, there's certain people that really, like, experience a different walk. And an alpha male... He's liked, like I wrote about, he's liked by guys and women. And I don't want to mean guys in a sexual way, but I just mean 
Guys kind of look up to him. Anytime he walks into a room or if he's in any situation long enough, whether it be a, a party or a function where you're sharing ideas, or people know it's like an aura about him. And once he speaks and they hear his mindset, guys like kind of admire him and, and women are attracted him. to him. Yeah, and women are attracted to him. But not saying all, oh, because I know there's probably people looking at it just like, well, who does he think? He, nah, I might just not be it for you, but... There are guys out there that are like that and really kind of experience an easy walk of life with women. They don't have to go through a lot of the things other guys experience. And that's what made me come up with that theory. That's what made me come up with that theory. So are you saying that you are an alpha male? I'm going to say this. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't be able to write. I wouldn't write about anything that I didn't know about. Okay. I wouldn't write so about we'll it. We'll take that as a yes. Yeah, I wouldn't write about it. But interesting. So, life of an alpha male is it based around your life? Um, not my life. Cause it's a story of fiction. Mm-hmm. It is a story of fiction. But it is based on true events. I believe that any writing, for the most part, comes from experiences. Whether it be yours, whether it be from people that you know, whether it be from things that you observe. And I'm very observant. I'm that kind of guy in life. I always tell people when I'm in scenarios, people, I could be at a party or anything, and I constantly see stories. So I write about the things, and I put this book in story form, and I'm just excited about it. Like, I believe that women are going to love it. That I know what characters they're gonna love. They might be mad at Mason, who's the lead character, but um, they're gonna be proud of Mason too, a, a little as the book goes along. Mason was something else. That's all I can say. Mason is is a character. He's a character, but he's real. That's true. Like you, you know, like we can say he's a character, or, or it might make people put the book down. But once they see. Evelyn's responses. I don't know how you, how much you like Evelyn as therapist. Oh, I like Evelyn. Yeah. Once they see it, they'll they'll start to appreciate it. Both seeing both sides of it and his evolution, but he shows her a few things as well. By the end of the book, she's enlightened as well. So your first book, ouch! This may hurt. Talked a lot about sex. So tell our viewers: Does um, Life of an Alpha Male touch a lot on sex? Also. It touches someone on sex because men and women have sex. Like that's, <laughs> I mean, that's what that's a part of it. Like I feel like sex has so much power because it's this no touch topic or this secret or it's like we can't. So then it's this underworld where men go to get pleased, whether it's porn or whether it's massage parlors, whether it's strip clubs, whether it's and fulfill the fantasy. And it's like let's remove the power and be open and talk about these things. Because when they're cheating or whatever's going on, they're not going for walks in the park. That's just not what they're doing. Like, so I wanted to, like, it's entertaining, but I really, really want to help people and make people look at their situations different that they go to. And some, once a lot of women read this, they might even, um, I would say, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the word I'm looking for, but they might actually reevaluate a situation they're in with a man probably halfway through the book. I believe so. Oh, I know Ouch, This May Hurt was more of a self-help book. This one was more entertaining. Mm -hmm. Um, Not more entertaining because Ouch was entertaining too, but because this one was fiction, like I really got into it. It was a very interesting story. Well, now it's time for my segment that I call The Moment of Truth. This is where I ask you a few questions, and I want you to respond as truthful as possible, okay? Okay. You down to play? I'm down. Don't know what you're going to ask me, but I'm down. Not, nothing too personal. Okay. okay. All right. First question is, how do you think this book will help men and, and women? Okay. My opinion, and I might be wrong because I was wrong about Ouch. I thought Ouch was just for women, but men seem to love the book. Just as much. Like they told me, finally somebody told told women about us, but actually expressed it in a way that was actually true or the most accurate and, uh, and helping them understand us. So, but 
with this one, I feel like it will be enlightening to women because I put them in therapy. So I wanted to get them in the psyche, like I said, so they will kind of journey through a man's brain. But for men, I know it was for me right now. I believe it'll be therapeutic. I do. And I believe it'll kind of make them actually look at things that they put women through differently. I, I just believe that. I don't know what you take on when you read it, but that's what I believe. I believe it'll actually make men think about, like, man, this is me. Yeah, I believe that. I mean, I don't want to tell too much of the story. Yeah, I want the yeah, readers yeah, yeah. to, to mm. get that themselves. But, um, so you're married, right? Yep. Is your wife an alpha female? Yes. So how does that work? Do y'all get along? It's something. You can, you can imagine because, again, what you're reading the book, and I don't want to spoil it, but we're both used to being spoiled somewhat. So and, y'all probably so, so, yeah, we, we, we kind of clap because I'm used to getting my way and, and women trying to please, you know, not saying that they serve me. I don't, women, calm down. But I'm just saying because of my personality, because of my mindset, People do find it attractive. Like, and I, I break the alpha male down. It's not so much about looks. It's like a total package that makes a, a man an alpha male. But then at the same time, she's used to certain things from men and certain responses that I might not get. So it's it's been a journey. Let's say that. But we're hitting that seven-year mark. So hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully we good. All right. Is there anything else you want to tell our viewers? Last thing I just want to say, get the book. Just like Ouch, I didn't let you down. If you don't have Ouch, you sh you'll probably want it after you read this or, or vice versa. Because they both, but you've never read anything like this. Or like my first book. I feel like I talk about relationships in a way. And it used to be my opinion, but now a lot of people reach out to me. People that I know and that I don't know. And people that you know are harder to please. But a lot of them reach out to me now and say, I must say, you nailed it. You nailed it. And I think I did it again. I know I did it again in story form. And the story has a twist and everything. Like, I'm so proud of this book. Go out and buy it. Meet me at my release party. If you can't, contact me. Tell friends. You got to get this book. All right, let them know where your release party will be. When and where? At Pages this Saturday, coming up April 2nd, from 9 until. I have Ouch and Life for Alpha Male. Okay. Y'all hear him, David Lloyd Marcus. Go out and get that book, Life from an Alpha Male. Thank you. Go out and get Black Crystal Wine. To the summer, and my love falls all over again. Springtime. I knew you very when you were just a bud and before you began to bloom you see it was